folks, so I'm gonna do some work here. I cannot do any of work on the lawn here. You can see I've got some snow issues. I need to get my snow mold prevention application down. I'm gonna try to do that hopefully next week. Today is Friday, the 1st of November, which is freaking crazy. I did get the greens roller going. It's right here, okay? Just gotta put the seat on there. I wanna get it out and try rolling it on the lawn here, see if it'll go. So uh, I just need to put the backpack blower on really quick, blow these leaves off the driveway very quickly. And then let's get the seat on the greens roller and try our luck with that baby, huh? Let's do it. So this is the Magnum blower. It's the B, this is the BR800C, like Charlie, it's from steel. This is a bad A blower. I kind of initially thought, oh, maybe that's more a blower than I need, but I tell you what, this thing's a real deal. And would I recommend it? Yes, I would recommend it, even for a homeowner. Who says you have to be a landscape professional to use one of these babies? Not me. Just like that. So this blower is freaking sweet. It's got the max power. And uh, it's the best blower that I think money can buy, backpack blower, for the professional. are at all on the fence about whether to buy this blower or not like I said this is the BR800C it's got the side pole right here go like this start it up got the on off switch right here on your uh, thumb if you're at all on the fence about buying this blower do it this thing is a beast and it blows some serious business so I love this blower it is awesome so let's get the roller out get the seat installed and see if this thing goes. Let's do it. So I don't know if this thing fully works for sure or not, this roller. So I do have my doubts on this roller, whether or not the transmission works. I need a new seat. But before I put any more money into this thing, I just wanna make sure it works and that the transmission's okay before I buy a new seat. You can see here the seat's shot. It's got the duct tape on there and it's just, so let's just put this on here really quick and let's see about getting this baby fired up and try it out. It's been really cold here lately, but today it's probably, I don't, I don't know, 35, 38 degrees. So the local weather station says it's 39 degrees and that's probably about right. I didn't think it was 36, that felt too too, uh, too cold. I think I'm done making the mods to this thing. I've cleaned it all up. The only thing I'm left to do is just do the seat. And then I just wanna put this sticker on here. One of my subscribers sent this, which is so awesome. Thank you so much. Right there, like that. There we go. So this is a safety third machine, just like that. So I have no idea if this machine works. I'm assuming it does. I know that the engine works, but I do not know if the transmission works, so we're about to find out. So put this thing on choke, turn the engine on and pull it. So like I said, I do not know if this thing works or not. I'm not, I, I have my doubts about the transmission. So I'm running in the garage just with two or three feet, not sitting on it, not running it. So let's see if I can get this thing to roll over onto the grass here. I'm smelling oil burning and I'm seeing it coming off the old uh, muffkin there, as Tara would say. All right, so fog goes good. I should be able to start it up sitting on the machine and drive it onto the lawn here. I don't know if it's gonna work. It kinda feels like it is going to. So I'm pretty stoked about that, but let's try it out here. Works, runs. So let's dump some more money into this sucker. It goes. So 
she doesn't do too well in the old uh, ice. She doesn't want to go in the snow. So that is gonna be a learning curve forever. These grips suck, they're sticky. I don't know who the idiot was that put those on there, but they're sticky. It feels like sticky tape or something like that, but this thing's gonna be a learning curve for sure. It's hard to get those nice straight lines. So that thing is awesome, guys. Uh, Rick, he does not like going in the snow. It doesn't work that well, and it just kind of slides and slips on the grass. Here comes the looky-loo. What have you got out there now? She, come on. So a lot of people are gonna say, well, why do you want that machine? What's the purpose of it? So it's heavy, probably weighs a few hundred pounds, 500, I don't know. It's, it's not really, really heavy. I was hoping it was gonna be a thousand pounds, but it's really not. So the purpose of this machine is just to iron out the lawn. And yeah, it's gonna cause compaction, I get it. But guess what? I'm gonna aerate and I'm gonna top dress and this thing's gonna become my baby. It's gonna be awesome. So I don't need you guys yelling and screaming at me saying, that's the stupidest thing ever. Rick is now my friend. We are good buddies now. Put a lot of time and effort into Rick and he's rolling, so. We're gonna roll the lawn. Here comes the looky Lou. I don't know what he wants, but, oh, it's an older couple. JN Audio. He's, he's, he's waving me down. Uh, Brian, I wanna thank you so much for uh, helping me with this. He's the one that kind of scoped this out and said, hey, you know, maybe this one. Oh, there she is. Sister Ward. Sister Ward right there. So there you go, folks. That is a good deal. Uh, I'm happy with it. It's just kind of, it's gonna be kind of fun to roll around on the lawn. I don't know if it's gonna be do damage. I don't know if it's gonna be good or bad, but it's sure fun to use. And it's gonna make the lawn smooth and, and uh, flat. Not necessarily flat, but smooth. Sister Ward? Hi. What are you doing? Not today, you're gonna have to wait. She wants to drive it and I'm like, no, this is my machine. You don't get to drive this or mow the lawn. What? I get to use it, not you. Oh, okay. So this is my domain, guys. So she's all trying to sneak in here and mow the lawn and roll the lawn. And next thing you know, she's gonna be wanting to fertilize the lawn. I'm like, Pfft. heck no, that's my job. I think the only other thing I'm gonna do with this machine is just get a new seat. So you can see right here the seat's in pretty bad disarray, but that's not a big deal. Let's put it away and go from there. You're gonna break it, you're gonna break it. You're ruining your lawn, you're ruining your lawn. Yeah, I'm ruining it. So that is one beautiful machine, folks. Super happy to have it. I hope it pays off, I mean, I don't know paying off it's never gonna make its money back but sure is fun to use and i hope it uh, makes the lawn flat so that's it for this video thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one